Our next story is about an American woman, a mother and an author. She wrote a book about coping with grief. This was after the death of her husband. Now she's been accused of murdering him. This story is no less than the plot of a mystery novel and a bizarre one at that. So brace yourselves because this is going to be a roller coaster. This story is about a woman named Cory Richens. One night, Richens gave her husband a cocktail. This was around 9 p.m. She then left the room and returned around 3 a.m. only to find her husband dead at the foot of their bed. They had been married for 9 years. This incident happened in the month of March last year. About a year later, she published a book, a children's book, titled Are You With Me? It's about navigating grief after the loss of a loved one. Now, Richens is under investigation for allegedly murdering her husband. Quite the plot twist, right? Investigators say that she killed her husband with a lethal dose of illicit fentanyl. Court documents show that she purchased the drug in the months leading up to his death. Investigators also say that the poisoning wasn't abrupt. Weeks before the death, the couple celebrated Valentine's Day together. They had dinner at home. Shortly after which her husband became very ill. He even told a friend about this. Said he thought his wife was trying to poison him, and he was probably right. For now, Richens has been arrested and is in custody. Now, you may be wondering, why would she do something like this? The investigation is still underway, but there is one big clue. The case seems to have something to do with property. Apparently, Richens fought with her husband over a multi-million dollar estate, a mansion worth two million dollars. She wanted to buy it; her husband didn't. But when he died, she closed the deal just the day after. And before his death, she even tried to change a life insurance policy to make herself the sole beneficiary. These clues seem believable, but there are still some plot holes because this is an ongoing investigation. But one thing is clear: it is just as intriguing as it is odd. If this is actually true, then not only did a woman murder her husband, but earned money off of it. Moral of the story: when a little voice in your head tells you something is off, something is probably off.